Oh, hi there. Do you hate your kids? Do you wish you never had them? Do you often watch that little disappointment completely fail to impress you? Do you wish that once they finally decide to move out that you never have to speak to them ever again? Well, you've picked the right tape. In just six short minutes, I can teach you how to absolutely make sure that by the time your kids move out, they will come Your child might have mistaken you as a therapist and might actually try to confide in you about them. What a retard. Don't they realize that you also have issues? And because you have issues, that immediately invalidates theirs. Why? Who fucking knows, but it's a logic that seems to work on them. Be sure to tell your kids all the time that you don't care about their issues because eventually they'll just stop telling you them. Pretty soon you'll have them only saying things like, okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright. And not actually want to engage in a conversation with you. Because who do they think they are? You're there trying to watch Barney Miller. Don't ever stop, either. If you keep going, they might actually just end their own lives for you. You won't need to deal with them ever again. Just ditch their body at a Chinese restaurant, crack open a cold one, and watch all the 80s reruns that you want. If your child makes the foolish decision of trusting you enough to tell them that they're gay, or trans, or any of that hoopla, that actually gives you a propitious weak point in their personality for you to attack. And the best part is, is that it'll mean fucking nothing to you, so you'll never know how personal it'll feel to them. There was a video that was posted online to Twitter in October that showed a dad beating his son with a belt for dancing with another man. Props to that dad, because not only was he hitting his child in places that won't show if he wears pants, but he also did it in Mexico, a country where the police force can be bribed with pocket change. Even if the police catch on to them, he can just pay them about two pesos and they'll be on their merry way. I caught up with the dad and his results were better than I could even believe. So why'd you whip that kid? Which one? The one that you whipped for being gay. <laughs> Of course, if you don't want to risk making obvious marks, then verbal abuse is the best way to go. Because remember, emotional pain hurts worse than any physical pain. Fuck it. If you don't give a shit, then just text your child your disdain for them. Be sure to tell them things like that their sexuality slash gender identity is making them want to abuse drugs. By making the child believe that your problems are their fault, and that anytime you're suffering from anything, they'll believe it's their fault. And if you're concerned about getting screenshots of that text reported, then no worries. Here's an example of text messages that a friend of mine received for their mom. I made a report about it, including all the information that they asked for, and CPS did a grand total of jack shit about it. If you want to abuse your child in very obvious ways, guess what? CPS doesn't give a shit. Because the only people who hate kids more than you is CPS. Oh, and by the way, parents, I talked to this kid and they said there's no way they're ever gonna talk to their mother again. So, nice work to that mom. My 17-year-old daughter dyed a strip of her hair pink, so she's not allowed to hang out with her friends for four months. Am I going easy on her? This is a perfect way to make your kid hate you. Give them absolutely no freedoms as a child. Make sure that they feel goddamn institutionalized. Make sure that they're absolutely miserable and that you don't allow them to have any fun whatsoever. And the great part about this is that it's entirely legal. There's absolutely no risk of being prosecuted for it. And hopefully by then you've broken the child's spirit enough that they won't even bother to speak out about it. If you're not sure that you've made your kid hate you, then this last one should seal the deal. I'm legally obligated to inform you that this is illegal, and there is actually a decent risk of the child blabbing to the authorities, and you wouldn't want that, would you? Which is why before you molest the child, you gotta make sure that you instill a layer of fear into them. Tell them things like, kids who end up in the system end up getting raped. Threaten them with violence. Make sure that they are terrified to reach out for help. Then molest them. This is the most effective 
and the most fun way to make sure that by the time they're 18, they'll completely drop out of your whole life without a trace. Then you can finally have peace and quiet and spend all the time doing what you love, like wasting your life away on the couch watching The Price is Right. And in case you do get caught for your actions and the police show up your door, you can be like, I call this number Kurt Cobain and blow your goddamn brains out in front of them. But just know that even as you're lifeless and virtually alone on the couch, just know that you're somehow still worth more than that little asshole you never wanted in the first place. He won't even show up to your own funeral. And there you are, there's my tips and tricks to getting rid of your child and making sure they absolutely hate you for the rest of your life. If you're doing any of these things, then yeah, your child will never talk to you again. Thank you for watching.